We're given the sequence a sub n equals sine 2n divided by the quantity n to the fourth plus three. We want to determine if the sequence is bounded or unbounded, determine if the sequence is monotonic or not monotonic, and then determine if the sequence converges or diverges. If the sequence does converge, determine the value it converges to. So looking at our formula for a sub n, we should recognize that the sine function value will fluctuate between positive one and negative one, and n to the fourth plus three will increase without bound as n increases. Now for number one, to determine if a sequence is bounded or unbounded, a sequence is bounded if it has an upper bound and a lower bound, meaning all the terms of a bounded sequence are between or equal to the upper bound and lower bound. To determine if the sequence is bounded or unbounded, we want to find the value of the first several terms in the sequence, and it's also helpful to graph the sequence. I've already done this to save some time. One thing to be careful about here is if using your calculator, you do want to make sure that you're in radian mode when finding the value of the terms in the sequence. Notice the first term, a sub one, would be equal to sine two divided by the quantity one to the fourth plus three, so let's go ahead and check the value of these first two terms in this sequence. So the first thing you want to do is make sure we're in radian mode. So we press the mode key. Notice radian is highlighted. Then we'll go back to the home screen and we'll have sine two divided by the quantity, we'd have one to the fourth, right arrow, plus three. So the first term in the sequence is approximately .227. Let's go and just check one more. I'll press second enter, and now I can edit this entry. So when n is two, notice how we'd have sine four. Here, and then we'd have two to the fourth here. So the second term in the sequence is approximately negative .040. Now if we take a look at the graph of the sequence here in red, it might be a little hard to see, but the first term is here, second term is here, third term, fourth term, fifth term, sixth term, and so on. Notice how the value of these terms are approaching zero. So this sequence is bounded. For example, we could say it's bounded above or has an upper bound of let's say 0.23, maybe somewhere in here. and it's bounded below or has a lower bound of, let's just say negative .05, which may be somewhere in here. So our sequence is bounded because it has an upper bound and a lower bound. And again, hopefully with practice, we can recognize this because if we recognize that the sine function value will fluctuate between negative one and positive one, and the denominator is going to increase without bound as n increases, we would have a bounded sequence. Next, we want to determine if the sequence is monotonic or not monotonic. A sequence is monotonic if the terms in the sequence are always increasing or always decreasing. As a quick example, a monotonically increasing sequence is a sequence in which each term is greater than or equal to the previous term. And here are the graphs of two monotonically increasing sequences. Of course, we can also have monotonically decreasing sequences, which in both cases would be called a monotonic sequence. So looking at our sequence, notice how from the first term to the second term, the values decrease, but then from the second term to the third term, the value increases. So because this sequence is decreasing and increasing, it is not monotonic. We can also recognize this because looking at the terms in the sequence, Notice how they change from positive to negative back to positive, meaning the terms are decreasing and then increasing and therefore not monotonic. And now we want to determine if the sequence converges or diverges. And if the sequence does converge, determine the value. So again, looking at the graph, the value of the terms are converging to a value of zero, 
But more formally, we say that if a sub n equals f of n, and the limit as x approaches infinity of f of x equals l, then a sub n would converge to l, and the limit of the sequence is l. So sequences that have limits converge, sequences that don't have limits diverge. So looking at the sequence formula, if we let f of x equal sine two x divided by the quantity x to the fourth plus three, and then take the limit as x approaches infinity of sine two x divided by x to the fourth plus three, Notice again, as x increases, the numerator fluctuates between negative one and positive one, but the denominator increases without bound, and therefore these values are going to approach zero, and therefore the limit is equal to zero. So if this limit equals zero, the sequence converges, and the limit of the sequence, as n approaches infinity, equals zero, and therefore we say the sequence converges, and it converges to zero. So the given sequence is bounded, it's not monotonic, and it converges to zero. I hope you found this helpful.